Olympus high-res mode. Can a Micro Four Thirds camera be sharper and more high resolution than a full frame camera? Let's find out. So I thought I'd make a few more shorter videos. Maybe I can upload a bit more. So I've had the EM5 for a little bit now and there's a lot of features packed in this little guy. And one of them that I've become particularly interested in is a mode called pixel shift. Now the base megapixel on this camera is 20 megapixel and that's probably good enough, good enough for most instances. But we did take this camera on Tuesday to some waterfalls and when I was using the Lauer 7.5 millimeter lens, it's so wide, it's equivalent of 15 millimeter in a full frame and it was just so wild. I think it spread those pixels quite thin. And after reviewing the pictures, I thought, hmm, maybe I made a mistake going micro four thirds. But then I was like, ah, oh, that's just me in my mind thinking everything needs to be taken to the limits. But fortunately I found out you can take these things to its limits and there was a mode that I probably could have used or should have used. It's generally known as pixel shift and there's also Panasonic, Sony, Pentax has this technology also. Make some models that have this technology built in. I'll just show you some of the results that I was able to get. Firstly I tried it with a very solid monopod that was kind of reduced down to a tiny little tripod that produced a really good result. I had tried this using the gimbal. Even though it was on lock mode, the tiny little micro shakes in it of the motors stabilizing the camera, I think it does affect the performance. But I did have a little bit of success with it. So your mileage may vary. This flimsy, tall carbon fiber one that we love taking traveling with us, that worked great too. So I think Put a little bit of a timer on and I think you'll get good results. I'll just go through the menu here and you can set up the timer. You can make it instantaneous or up to 30 seconds. I put it on eight seconds. That'll give everything a good chance to settle. And you can make it go up to 30 seconds, which kind of doubles as a timer. So if Elise and I wanted to both get in the frame, it's a good option for that. And we'll definitely experiment with this in the future. While we we're testing it on these tripods, we we're able to use a bit heavier lens that I can't use on the gimbal. And that's a Sigma 30 millimeter F 1.4. Now this is like a really sharp lens and I think it will do this high res mode justice. This is like top 10, even top five sharpest Olympus lenses out of the 150, 200 collection that there are. I was really pleasantly surprised at the results. You can see it's still sharp when you don't zoom in. I've just checked on the camera and it goes up to 14 times zoom and the sharpness is just still amazing. You can see on the text and on the face of the painting, also on the bricks, you can just see a lot more detail. Yeah, great technology. I don't really understand how it works. The image stabilization feature just moves around. They've utilized that optically stable sensor in a different way, which is just a great feature and great technology implementation. So hats off to these amazing Japanese people that invest this stuff. So to answer the, the question at the beginning, can it be sharper and more higher resolution than full frame? Yes, but there's a disclaimer. 50 megapixels is pretty big. And generally speaking, that is gonna be higher resolution than most full frame cameras, but they have the advantage of just firing them off like that. And you also have the cameras like the Sony a7R4, which has a pixel shift mode, which is a 200 megapixel mode. I mean, wow, that is huge, isn't it? And the base megapixel for that one is 61. So I guess that camera is a real exception. I think we've proved a point here today that these little tiny sensors have cards up their sleeve. Thanks for watching 
and please subscribe if you haven't already to support us also click that like and tell us what your opinions are on the full frame versus micro four thirds and APS-C in there too maybe you're a fan of medium format also we're spoiled for choice aren't we at the end of the day we just all love cameras really no need to fight about it <laughs> all right guys see you in the next one